Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from iOS 8 back to iOS 7.1.2 so you can re jailbreak your device, and we'll do that right here all in this video. The first thing you're going to have to do is come over to this post on iPhoneCaptain.com. The link will be in the description, and you need to download the correct IPSW for your device, whatever that device may be. Click on that, save it to your desktop just as I have done here. So now, when once that has completed, and that's gonna be around a gigabyte file, so it may take, you know, 10, 15 minutes, depending on your uh, internet connection. So once that's finished, open iTunes. Once iTunes is opened up, what you're gonna to have to do now is you're gonna to have to sort of trick your device, so to speak. Hold down Control on the Windows uh, machine, I think, and it's Option, on the Mac and click restore okay at the same time when you get that you're gonna get the little pop-up box here and this iPhone 5 to 8.0 that's where we upgraded to iOS 8 a couple days ago well now today we're going back down to 7.1.2 so we can re jailbreak now you need to make sure you do this guys before September 17th or you will no longer be able to do it because Apple stopped signing the IPSW. And go in here and click open. And now you want to click restore. You see it says it will restore your iPhone to 712 and verify this with Apple. Now that's what I was saying. They stopped signing the firmware so you better be careful about how long you wait and be certain if you want to stay on iOS 8 because it may be six months or longer before you get a jailbreak guys you can always go up but you can never go down when you're dealing with this now Apple has sort of found a way to keep jailbreakers from being able to use the tiny umbrella trick and all that sort of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and let this run through I'll be right back when it completes and we should be good to go Now, as you can see, we get the little pop-up here saying the iPhone has been restored to its factory settings, and it's going to go ahead and restart the device is, and when it comes back up, it will be on 7.1.2. And here, we're going to go ahead and restore from a backup we did yesterday. So, let's get the latest one on the 12th, you see right here. PM. Let's go with this one and go continue. And now that's going to restore all of our settings back to how we had them set on 712. It's the next pop up you see. And as you notice up here in the corner, I have Pangu opened up. And once everything has come back up to normal and my device has loaded back into iTunes here. We'll go ahead and open Pangu and we'll start the jailbreak process. So once it's ready, I'll bring you back for that. Okay guys, it seems we've finished up now. So let's go ahead and click the Pangu and get the jailbreak started. And you'll go ahead and click open here connect which we're already connecting and we're going to go ahead make sure up here at the top <clears throat> that it says it has your uh, device name here along with the firmware that it's running and then just click jailbreak now you're going to have to slide to unlock and reset your date here back to June 2nd 2002 2014 okay so be sure you do that Okay, guys, one thing that I've been having trouble with here is I was using a third-party cable, and it wasn't the original Apple cable, and it kept getting an error. So be sure that when you're jailbreaking, you're using your original Apple cable. So what you want to do is connect the device, then click jailbreak. Now it will begin the process, and this doesn't take that very long, maybe, you know, just a few minutes, really. So we'll bring you back once the jailbreak has completed 
Okay, at this point here, you're going to have to actually open the device up, unlock the device, and go to your springboard and find the Pangu icon. You're going to tap that icon. It won't continue jailbreaking until you do. And you're going to keep the device open and you're not going to close the app, it says. So just, just let it do its thing without hitting the home button or anything like that. And once this completes, then your jailbreak should be completed and you should have Cydia on your springboard. And it's saying it just takes a few minutes. So once this is finished, we'll bring you back in. You can see here we got a reboot coming on. It says don't disconnect. And it'll re start and restart a couple times to complete the process. But when it finishes, your it will actually tell you right on your device and on the computer that it has finished and everything's good to go so there shouldn't be any problems and if it has any, if you have any problems guys just try uh restarting your device and just unplug and plug it back up maybe restart your computer maybe that might have some okay so there's the restart on the phone you just heard that buzz everything's back up and running properly like it should be so guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to stay close to iPhoneCaptain.com for all the latest news and reviews. And as always, guys, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button, share this video, and keep coming back.